cultural mind. Uh, yeah, cultural mind. Uh, yeah, cultural mind. Uh. Who you think you're fooling with those black ass rhymes? Being all fake and wasting my time. Think you had your moment while you took my shine? I'll be taking what's rightfully mine. So what a real artist looks like when I'm done with you, I'ma shred you with two. Put respect to my name. If you got love for the game, I'm the big geek to the two pop. You don't wanna fuck with if me. We can't battle on these streets. We can't battle. On these streets, come for a take back what's right. I think you got me confused. No, that you are a fool. Come for a take back what's right. I think you got me confused. No, that. You are a fool coming for my take back what's my baby. You got me confused. No that you are a fool. Look who is laughing now. I'ma be taking back my crown. All these tears you made will be coming your way. You can't knock me down, cause I'ma take your place. I'ma make you regret the day you was born. Let me show you I'm the queen to the throne. You ain't fooling me. I know what you is about. I know. You know SEO. What if you could do it smarter and faster? With Wix, you get a site with out-of-the-box defaults built to the highest technical standards with server-side rendering for HTML and SEO tags, fully customizable structured data markup, dynamic XML sitemaps, and more. Plus, you get a full suite of built-in SEO features that are continuously updated and improved. No hassles, no plugins, max efficiency. Need more control and flexibility? No problem. Edit your meta tags page by page or all in one go. Modify your URLs and inspect all of them in one click. You can even turn on dev mode to create custom code solutions using JavaScript and APIs. Behind all this, you've got a strong infrastructure, complete with enterprise-grade security, 99.98% uptime, and industry-leading performance that ensures you're always online and ready to rank. Work smarter, go faster with Wix. Why does love gotta die? 
Every night I sit and cry. I see you when I close my eyes. That's right, in denial. It's on all streaming platforms right now. Listen, I just heard some new music. I just want to make sure. Is JoJo going to be at the show? Yes, sir. February 18th. Listen, JoJo will be there. DJ Drewski, Pharaoh G. Uh, Esperanza, the movement. Loud Mouth. That's right. In the building, February 18th. We have Brooklyn, New York City for that Who's Next NYC concert. But artists, you can win $500 in cash. Mm. That's right. It's going to be at the Brooklyn Music Kitchen. 177 Vanderbilt mm -hmm. Avenue. You don't want to miss it. Tickets are on sale now on Eventbrite. So make sure you tap in. It's a movement. February 18. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> Telling me that you still want me. My anxiety is taking over. It makes me feel so lonely. Every day my name is... Wow. What a way to start the show, huh, people? There you go. We start the new year with a bang, with a major announcement. An announcement from announcement. my brother. <laughs> a major announcement from my brother from another mother, DJ Trusky Hot 97. He's going to be in the building um, fucking February 18th. February 18th. The movement combination coming up with Who's Next NYC. All right, Trusky's going to be in the building. We got Rod Dollar in the building. Esperanza, the movement. Myself, DJ Loudmouth, Vero G. Uh, Gemini Stacks, Multimedia, all right, and more. Tickets are on sale right now. Eventbrite, Eventbrite, the $35 right now. It's going to be 40 at the door, 177 Vanderbilt Avenue, uh, Brooklyn Music Kitchen, Brooklyn, New York. You don't want to miss it, all right? It's the first major concert of the year uh, for independent artists, and uh, the top prize is $500. We only have a few artist slots left, so uh, hit us up ASAP. On the gram, Captain Clutch 80, Captain Clutch 80, official Vero G. All right, all the Eventbrite, we have the slides on, slots available on there as well. The tickets is on there and all that good stuff. It's going down. You don't want to miss it. Uh, we got Grill in the Hill this Friday night yeah. in Harlem, uh, 140th in Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, Grill in the Hill. Uh, it's going to be our New Year's smash. All right, uh, we got tickets available for that, like 15 bucks. It's affordable. Everybody, come on, have a good time. Um, we'll be at the Brooklyn Music Kitchen next Thursday, the 19th. Uh, who's next? NYC. We got another concert as well. Uh, Don Julio, Handsome Shooter. Handsome Shooter opened up. Uh, he performed with, um, he did a concert with, um, I believe, Fabulous. You know, okay. so we're going to have him. He's going to bring his crowd, Handsome Shooter, Don Julio, and friends. So you want to tune and tap in for that. We, of course, the Eventbrite is everything. Who's next? NYC. Uh, type in Vero G on who's next on uh, the Eventbrite or who's next NYC. We're everywhere. Uh, we got events lined up all the way now uh, through May. All right. So, uh, yeah, um, we got um, this Friday Grill on the Hill. Yeah. Uh, this Friday Grill on the Hill. It's our first show of the year, too, by the way. Our yeah. first show of the year officially. Uh, then next Thursday, the 19th at Brooklyn Music Kitchen. All right, uh, with Don Julio, a handsome shooter and friends. And then February 10th, we're doing a Valentine's party back at Grill in the Hill. And then when we're doing a late night uh, concert showcase, Who's Next NYC, with a $200 cash prize. And slots open now for that. Uh, you want to, uh, you guys want to, you know, get down with that. You know, so we're doing a, we just added a second show, uh, you know, to the Valentine uh, lineup, uh, February 10th, Valentine's weekend at Grill in the Hill. And uh, so you can be a part of that. And then, of course, the big one, February 18th, um, Brooklyn Music Kitchen, Who's Next NYC Concert with DJ Juski, Hot 97, and uh, Friends. It's going to be a VIP uh, event. It's going to be lit. And then um, April 23rd. And then you could. I just got to throw it in. Go there. ahead. I was waiting for that one. Go ahead. <laughs> anyway, Eventbrite, everything. Who's yeah. Next NYC? This is DJ Loudmouth. Happy New Year, everybody. And here we go. With the other half, uh, Vero G, Aww. and you're listening to one and only Spotlight Radio Show <laughs> at DTF Radio. Yes, definitely. So real quickly, uh, before we continue on, uh, April 23rd. I feel like Barbara Watts is what's wrong with me today. Yes. April 23rd, <laughs> people. Always be selling. You already know. ABC. It's going to be awesome. This is our biggest 
show of the year. And there's the right. email for you him. Right. No. Mind you, when the year just started, she yeah, said that's exactly. the biggest show of the year. Like, I'm, I'm, out with I'm a hyping fan. this shit up already. Yeah. I'm hyping this shit up. So April 23rd, people don't miss out. It's an event right now. Go get your tickets. I think it's $30 at the door, I believe. For what? For the uh, Vero G Spotlight Music Awards show. Yeah, $30 is enough. Okay, enough. And so, we got VIP. It's thirty dollars and up for the award show, and uh, we have VIP packages, right. uh, which includes food and drink, and uh, maybe a little swag bag and something like that. Ooh. So uh, yeah, those are those are a hundred, <laughs> and we got limited reserved seating. Yes. Uh, we got VIP sections in that. So uh, yeah, hit us up or hit up the Eventbrite. It's on it's on sale now. Uh, it's gonna be a major event. We're gonna have celebrities. We're gonna have uh, people from different major radio stations a part of it as well. Uh, we already have. Um, Candy Solid Circle and uh, DJ Juski confirmed. Yeah. Uh, Hot ninety seven uh, representatives on the movement. They're gonna be there, and uh, we're gonna have more s- announcements and surprises to come in the next several weeks and months. This yeah. is this is gonna be our WrestleMania, our Super Bowl. Aww. This is for the independent artists. This is the biggest night of the year, and this is a new. Uh, we're continuing continuing what we started over five years ago. So. Aww. This is five years in preparation, <laughs> so uh, it's finally going to happen. Oh the Veil G Spotlight Radio Show Fuck Music so Awards. Yeah. Finally. Fuck that. finally. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we still coming back. You know? From, you're, from COVID, so. you're, yeah, that's what I was holding. Get your tickets now. Eventbrite. And uh, we'll have special performers, uh, yes. performers, so hopefully I would love for you to be part of it. Oh, no, come on. Let's, let's, I mean, we already set it on air. Okay. We can't right, come back so, from it now. Uh, April shit. 23rd, Morenita will be in your building. I am. Y'all come on. <laughs> oh my Spanish people in the building! Yeah, gang, gang. come yeah. on, yeah, too y'all get it. You ready, no baby? <laughs> so again, quickly, guys, you're on the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show here at DTF Radio. Every Wednesday is each and every Wednesday at 5 p.m., 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't mind me. I'm not cue in the camera. I know. Thank you. <laughs> you want to take me out? I forgot that they are. Right, fine, whatever. So, uh, so guys, I am honored. We have a great lineup of people in the building right now. Yes, we ha- definitely. We have a lineup of artists as we're here in the building right now. Tu Morenito. Yes, man. Kang yes. Kang. Yeah, I have said it right too. Yeah. Yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> we all my Morenito, but. Yeah. You feel me? El nombre artístico. Es tu morenito. I will speak. As my Spanish is horrible, so I'll work with you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got no problem. Listen, my mom would have killed me if I would have if I would have never picked up on the Spanish. She lives I got God. my mom in the building. Yeah, I got her in the building with me. Oh, that's you feel me up, over man. there in the corner. So Aww. it's love. Always, always. That's 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 the the, the realest in, in my team. So I, I get uh you know that's that's your day one right there, man. This is a dream come true oh, for me. Thank you. Oh, you got me in this lineup. Thank you. <laughs> he just pushed me over. Thank you. <laughs> he doing his thing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, so also we got in the building Gemini Stacks. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. He's like finally an interview after how yeah, many I know. years? I know. I've been, I've been... Straight, man. All right. Come I got on. you. Really. Come on. <laughs> she said, "Relax." Yeah. She said, "Bring it in." <laughs> And also, we got the building, the lovely artist, Shot Fire. She's in the back over there. She'll be here soon in a bit. Shout, shout out to the other yes. artists in, in the building. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yes. Yeah. Oh, she's about to come up. I was just saying, okay, I'm like, there, I might as well come in the building. Come on. Hello, what up? Welcome, welcome. Come Hello, on. everybody. The whole team, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> womp, womp. Yeah, baby. Woo. Okay. <laughs> I'm loving the love tonight here in Brooklyn. That's what I'm talking yes, about. Man. Yes, you have to stop it. All right, guys. So quickly, my Instagram is official at official Vero G. You guys can find me there. Follow, subscribe. Um, you know, follow the loud mouth is at Captain Clutch eighty, and we'll get you guys social medias in a minute. So we're gonna get right into the show and all that is said and done. Uh, like I said, ooh, I feel the love in here. Ooh, yes. Man, it's hot as hell. Yeah, you're yeah, right yeah, now, brother. The temperature is rising. City. Rising, we baby. We're building. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get right into a announcement before we get into the show, guys. Okay. Yeah. So quickly, uh, he already mentioned all the show dates we have. So people tune in, event break, all our showcases, the concert with DJ Drewski on February 18th, the award show, February 23rd, or April. Wow, you see my mind's out there. April 23rd, come show love, man. Hit us up, support whatever you want case may be, and all that. Yes, man. Yeah, we know, baby. Yes. Kong, Kong. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, for oh. the so I'm gonna be saying that a lot. <laughs> Real fast, I don't want nobody to feel like there's no I don't want to get trademarked and nothing like this. Yeah, not yeah. no Radio City shit. Kang Kang, this is my thing. Kang Kang is a statement. Like it's just like you know, yeah, it's like a, um, you know, Ana Maria Polo, Caso Cerrado. Yes, yes, that's yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's like you bang the hand. I said what I said. Kang Kang. Got you. 
Okay. That's okay. that's what Kong Kong is. So you know, I don't want to throw y'all off while I'm saying. I'm, I'm that. just listening. I'm enjoying it. I, I, I'm <laughs> like y'all. I'm home right now. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm it's, just it's, looking at the videos that I was watching earlier. All right, bring that down, sir. Bring that down. For me? Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come down, Tiger. <laughs> she like, I don't mm. mind me. If you want to be a part, come on, show fire. Come on, baby. Yeah, now, I'm talking about everybody. I'm... Listen, listen, we have a good show for you guys today. Come on down, baby. Come on down. She like, duh, 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 duh. we got a second seat right here in the middle. Ow. <laughs> Welcome to the show, my love. How are you? I'm okay. I'm, you. I'm tired. Are you tired? Right. Yeah, listen, no, no days off here. <laughs> no days off. Yeah, mama. Oh, help. Yes, yeah, so okay. I want you to hear yourself. Make sure you okay. All right, so again, we're in the building with three amazing people in the building. I just made oh, the announcement. Right. But Thank you. Saying, you're welcome, Thank sir. you. You're welcome, Mama. Dang, thank, thank you. you. Boy, this is the way to start the new year, right? That's what I'm talking about, right? Shit. Good energy. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Again, we're in the building with artists, Tu Moronito, with yes, Shop man. Fire and Gemini Stacks. He's not thank an artist, you. though. He's a cook. I'm not an artist. I'm, 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 yeah. I do different things, but I'm, no, I'm not what do you? What do you do? I cook and I do our film work. Okay, Documentaries cool. and uh, move, uh, videos and stuff like that, so... Mm-hmm. We're going to get into each of you guys in a minute. So we got some time. I want you guys to enjoy yourself. You're at home. Just be yourself. So let's get right into announcements right now. Okay, quickly, guys. Check out the new month issue of this month. Uh, not, you know, I will say December. January. <laughs> but the Very OG Spotlight magazine is out now. Go check that out at www.madcloud.com. Go check that out. Uh, also, check out the uh, new music video, Far Away and On the Dance Floor by your girl, Very OG. Hey. Also, new single, Love Don't Hurt, is out now. Go support that all digital platforms. Also, you get exclusive here on the show now. Yes, ma'am. This Friday, people, after eight years of me this year, I'm re-releasing my album called Trust and Tribulations. But, you know, back in the day, we used to do like 50 Cent. We used to go in the trunk and give it all CDs and shit. Of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I never did digital back then with the first album. So, now I'm kind of re-releasing it for the digital platform. So How you feel? I feel like I'm rebirth, man. Like, rebirth. I yeah. like I like the title. Thank you. Trials and tribulation. Yes, you, you already know what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. good. You already know what. You already know how I like the the, um, the, uh, yes. the album cover. So. Ooh. Okay. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, sucks. Calm down. Thank you, guys. Right. Appreciate that. I already know how you are. Will. I mean, just other co- Is this an other <laughs> cover, man? You know. Listen, I know, sir. All right, let's get back to the show. Okay. All right. So quickly, guys. Uh, this Friday we mentioned the showcase we have is going to be going down this Friday. At Grill the Hill in yes, Harlem. Man. Yes, man. And My you... home. T- Yo, you know I'm from over there. Really? Yeah, I live right down the block. Oh shit. Oh, good. So, so you're yeah, I'm gonna try far. to make sure that you know Harlem come and represent. I mean, we always, the city's gonna come and represent regardless. That's what I'm talking. But you know, I'm gonna try to make sure that the hood come comes out. You know, show show love fit the more I need though. I love that. That's and, listen. Oh, y'all yeah. all welcome to come through and show some love and support each other. You know what I mean? Do y'all think? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yep. You already know, baby. All right, so let's get right into. I'm like, I'm like so excited right now. Like, I'm at the house. So Holy shit, guys! Oh, fuck it. All right, so let's get right into the show. So we're gonna do a couple of segments, and I want you guys your input, each of your inputs on this. Got you. So of course, so, so we're gonna do today's topic, and this is for all your views on this. Okay. So first one is, this is kind of personal for me, but I want your input on this. Um, how corrupt is our system? Uh, when good parents get accused. For various reasons, and the unsupported parent gets the claps. I want your opinion on this. Who's the star first? Um, ooh, ooh, this is tough. It's tough. I mean, be honest. Ah, because I, I could go real on this, but I'm, I'm not a parent. Um, but, um, <clears throat> so you okay? You want to go? Ahead no, you can go. go. No, I'm just saying. So you're talking about good parents getting the clap. No, the, the parents, no, the, bad, the parent. bad parents getting the clap, and the parents that support, they're not getting. They're not, they're getting like crucified in the justice system and, you know, they're, they're doing what they can to support, you know, bring, you know, bring up their child the right way. And like the, the, the non-custodial parent is the ones that are like. Suffering. Going yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're yeah, kind of yeah. like laying back while the, the, the good parents are doing all the heavy work and then they get accused of something which is uncalled for. But, you know. Honestly, yeah. I, um, I'm going to start it off. Okay. Um, I know this, the system is real corrupted. Mm. Down, outside of families, you know, is we only speak on what we see and which is family and how your, your 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 direct family treats you, your mom, your brother, your sister, your household, so on and so forth. But now I feel like how the system plays a role in that, um, it's real tricky and it's real sensitive. But to my understanding, I feel like it sucks just because um, you know, shout out to all the moms, but you know, there's 
is also guys that come through for their child. Then like the guys are like the ones that don't really get looked down. I mean, looked up to. Not saying that you need as a. All right, so like I feel like as a parent, you don't need to get yeah, validated you know, for yeah, being exactly a parent. A parent. Let's 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 yep, get that out there. Whether part part your the mom, job. that's or, a part of the job, or, or, or father, you know, that's what you signed. You up signed for. up, yep. Signed now, up. where I feel like it becomes corrupted when any time that the kid comes to play. Cause you can't pull one from from the other because one benefits the other it's like the yin yang like you can't have the darkness with without the light it don't Ooh. work it's not that balanced so that i you know that's all i'm gonna say i'm i'm expecting at the moment so i don't really know yeah. so i don't really know yeah, too baby. Much. i don't really know too much coming from a parent i don't want to speak too yes. too early and too fast and then have it come back to bite me in the ass but my mom is a single mom and she showed me everything awesome. that I'm about so to So that apply. goes to show so, you that it, yeah, yep, that like, it, still you know, can, it still can happen. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Congratulations, by the way. No, thank you. You're welcome. Tell me to say what's up, boy. <laughs> 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 what's up, mama? How you doing? <laughs> okay, shot fire. What's your opinion? I mean, I feel like he's right. He pretty much covered it, but it, it definitely it goes back to the parents. But um, the fact that he's just you just had your mom, correct? Yeah. And if she was still able to, but I see you raise you know, a good, a, a great, yeah, yeah. a great young man. Um. I feel like, um, yeah, it doesn't. It's, it's, it's not a. It's not a job. It's not something that you need credit for. Yes. If you get the credit, more power right. to you. But right. the the work you put into the child is gonna show. Exactly. Your your, your child is supposed to show. And sad to say, you do have parents that do go hard, and the kids still make their own decisions. Everybody have free will. Very true. So, um, to me, the best thing you could do is do as best as you could do as a parent. Yes. But it's gonna show with the child. Mm. Sad to say that you can do your best and the child could still disappoint you right. because you can't, you could lead a horse to drink, you can't make him drink. So, to me, I feel like you just gotta just do your best as a parent. Very true. Oh man, come on. I feel like we're come in church right now, spicy, baby. Right? Oh, shit. I love that. Really? Yeah, yeah, it's true, though. It's true. True. Uh, what about you, Gemini Star? Um, I'm He's not like, a parent, but um, if you know, the parents is, you know, they're supposed to, um, Take care of both of them, but mm -hmm. if one if, if one is taken care of, that's what you get. Yeah. Forget about the other person. The person at the end of the day, when the person grows up, they know who grew, they they know who um yeah. who raised them. Yeah, that's the main simple. Point. Yeah, who was there most of their life? You know. Ooh, all right, let's get into the next question. Let's get into the so what about you? Well, yeah, I was just Me? about to talk. I, was trying to see <laughs> I didn't want to say, say I, I didn't like, want to put nah, you nah. on blast. I know you said personal up. to well, you, but and I'm gonna put you on right, blast. Let's yeah, yeah. always put me on blast, all right? <laughs> <laughs> nah. You 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 good. Well, I'm I'm kind of going through that situation with my I'm gonna be honest with my baby daddy. What's up, baby daddy? How you doing? <laughs> uh, okay, no, no. I would not put his name out there, at least in respect for that. But um, yeah, I've been fighting with that for years, and I'm being a single mom. And my son's 17 years old and to see the struggles i went through and and by myself right. and you know i'll be honest with you went from welfare to getting food stamps i have no shame on it you know and and, and struggling and trying yeah, to make nothing a, to be ashamed of exactly shit, you know, shit. Yeah. a lot of people want food stamps cash. remember For they don't just that, do like food stamps now they got cash on it too so no, that's another part story. is that a lot they of got people food stamps and cash you know exactly. on it for fun Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. But I mean, you know, from there, from school, but 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 bust my ass, working hard just to get, you know, provide for my kid. And you know, now even now, after he's seventeen years old, being accused of something that's uncalled for. So it's like, them if you do, and them if you don't, you do so good for your kid. But then one little mistake or one little thing you did wrong, you get criminalized. Let's that. give her a clap, right nah, now. Yeah, we're, we're, the fact you're still going, the fact you're still going, the fact you're still going. Every single <laughs> The fact that you're still going, you're here today, so you can still keep going. Thank you, I appreciate it. You can still keep going. You have some people who give right. up, so nah, listen, you being I don't here. Know if you, you was at a major stage? No. no Recently, no, no. nah. The way she was performing, I was like, yo, what, what the hell is going on? <laughs> like, she up there, uh -oh. you, you know, like, she up, nah, listen, when I'm telling you she up there took to control of the stage, I feel like after Ooh. that, you set the tone. Yeah, I was there. You know, like, I had to open up ma major stage and whatever. I feel yes. like I, I did what I did. Yeah, yeah I was there. I was nervous. There. Listen, listen, <laughs> I'm good. I've seen it. I, listen, I know how to dress yeah. shit, shit up for y'all real you good, this, but yeah. I be nervous and my anxiety be showing up skyrocket. Oh, no, you, you know, so that. I did what I did to open the show. No, but I feel like good. once you got on, you took control of that, and I feel like after that, the show really became what it was. Oh, what it was, so I just you know, to, to give you guys a little extra. Yes, enjoy. You know, I, I gotta say, I didn't get to see it, but. No, no, wait. I'll, I'll send to you Facebook. Uh, is we called Instagram or YouTube? Instagram and YouTube. Okay. Actually, his was YouTube. So I have to wait for okay, that. so Instagram. Well, yeah, for now. 
I have um, it on my yeah. Instagram. Yeah, I already know Kyle Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> Yo, he's, like, he's so hype. It's, it's your name. It's your name, G- Gemini, because yeah, you were Gemini. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't tell, don't tell nobody. Don't tell <laughs> right. Nah, because I had this. Because I don't want to be. Um, I had to name some stuff, and I was like, I'm not going to um put uh my real name on Facebook. So yeah, I had yeah, to, yeah, not the government. And name was not. nah. I, don't, I had to think of something, yo, and it would be like that. That's, That's how brother. it is, Come man. Come on now. All right, let's no. get to the second topic. All right, all right. Come on. All right. So second one, guys, is what things in this world would you want change to happen? Like, what things personally you want to see change? Um, I would like to see a better generation, better yeah. generations to come, then the world could change. Mm. So that's yeah. that's very important. That's very. I know that. Thank you. Oh, I feel like with okay. um um <laughs> one of the world change, I feel like we should start reaching out to well, not reaching out. How do I say? Um, well, yeah, I feel like the U.S. should start reaching out to like third world countries because there's a lot of like motherfuckers that really bust their ass out there, yes. even more than motherfuckers that live here mm. and got the opportunities Shit. that we wake up. For New York City every day, and people coming over here flying from everywhere to get to get the opportunities that we wake up to. So I feel like it not that it might be like a world change to like world peace, but I feel like if we start, because there is a lot of doctors, like yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is that like a lot of outside of here, outside of what there's a lot more than what we know. So you know, like like the medical system, they might be like, hey, take a Tylenol, but you go to a third world, they're going to be like, hey, take this basil with, 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 with some ginger and that, and, then you, yeah. and it does the same yeah. shit that, yeah. that, that, that the medicine, is, that yeah. the pills is going to do. So that's all I'm saying. I feel like we should saying- extend um, the knowledge and I guess like give people like work visas and, and visas to, to, you know. Like come, look come at them as an equal. Okay. Yes. They don't look at them as an equal. That's so yeah. yeah. That's what it, that's when he's right. It, it because they're not, uh, just because they're just not born here, they're not from here, but they have the skills, probably even better maybe, skills than exactly. some people here. They Very they true. they learn exactly. how to they they struggle, so they work hard yeah. without a choice. Oh, that's so true. And some people wake up because they can, and they just you know they they're born they into diff- exactly. I just want to add real quick before we get to you. Um, I add to that. There's a lot to it, but. The pharmacy is a business. Pharmaceutical business, of course, it's a business. They have to make money either way, so of that's course. how they they push the drugs to us. I could get right into this, but I'm, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> but uh, all right, you, you too, my love. I'm sorry. Right. I, we're no, we're no, not, no, time no, for that. No, we no. get right into nah, right. Ooh, they make money off our shit. <laughs> yeah, they do. Definitely. Money. All right. No, I did say that. I, um, I did say my. He didn't say his. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I did Ooh, say. Okay. Um, Gemini sucks. I don't know. <laughs> I said a um, better generation. I yes. don't know. It's just a lot of. Um, I feel like they should change the um the child care system and all that. And, yes. And um, that is you know, true. Too many yeah. parents is um going to jail for stupid stuff, and um, you know. <sighs> That's we it. could go really into this, man. It's not another day for that. <laughs> exactly. Because there's a lot of parents out there killing their kids, and they get away yes, with that's that what I'm shit. saying. Exactly. That you don't really yeah. know. That's why this system did get stricter because you don't yeah. really know. You don't know these days when something is wrong or right. When in a home, that's why the signs. If you see the signs, so you can't right. really tell. That right. is so They true. have to do their best. It's like they, they, they damn if they do, damn if they don't. Oh yeah. They don't. Kids is dying. They do. Parents, is, kids is getting taken away from their parents. Yeah, that's tough. So. But they got to do what's best for the child, right? For the for them, exactly. Ooh, let's change the mood up a little bit. That was kind of like y'all got y'all guys. You guys enjoying this over there? You enjoying oh, the yeah, conversation? Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 like you, you want to add anything to it? No, no, no. I'm gonna let y'all around. I'm just here. I'm chilling. Nah, you know, I'm my mom too. So unless she's like, no. Nah, I mean, if if yeah. you know, unfortunately, my mom don't really know. English, yeah, no, my Spanish is horrible. Know, but, but like. <laughs> Honestly, you sit her down right there and she'll join the conversation. Oh, like, like it's shit. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. Like, yeah. she, <laughs> no, she you know, she got her history too. You know, like what you say, it, it, it does reflect. And I know we're talking about a little something, a little bit like dark, but right. also it comes to the light. Like sometimes, like you could tell when it's love in the family, like the way a kid mm. uh, yeah. expresses itself. And a lot of times, like us, that, and I'm putting myself in it too. You got like, to because you are an example. We, like, we, we, necessarily didn't see the love that you got at home and then we start questioning why you so open why you so happy like why you so t- you know and it's that mm. it's the love yeah. in the yeah. in the home you know so yeah. wow yeah. anybody else want to close that off huh? <laughs> yeah that's it it's over. <laughs> <laughs> 
We gotta talk more. We can see this is a, I see your politics. I don't nah, know why. Nah, yeah. I like to no, it's that that's why I asked yeah. you. I'm a Gemini, so I like to pick oh, I like Gemini. I like, man, I like love, people man. to pick my mind and I like to have deeper yeah, conversations. Man. I don't like like short talk. I, I like to go that, deep and shit. Yeah. See, that, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. but some stuff don't belong to you know. Listen, man, we already know that's why I'm having a good time. All right, no FCC here. We good. <laughs> so next one, guys, celebrity gossip. Are you guys ready for this? Yes, we are. I guess. Yay! Uh, we said Okay, awesome. So first one, guys, y'all know about Jack Raw Wright, right? She used to be back in the days, in the yeah. 90s and 2000s, with Jay-Z and, and Roots. She used to be like a singer back in the days. Okay. Uh, she kind of was not retired, but she was blackballed. So now she's exposing a lot of people in the industry, like Puff Daddy, Jay-Z, the list goes on. And she recently... Um, She's she's exposing the the shit out of them. Like, how do you guys feel about that? Because she's in the in circle. She knows what's been going on. Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, people's been doing it for years anyway. Well, you heard about Puff Daddy, right? He, yeah. Yeah, you know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. Nah, yeah, Chupalo, Chupalo. That's what he nah, does. Listen, hey. nah, look, they've been doing it for reason. they've been doing it for years, man. <laughs> He's Puff Yo. Daddy for a reason. <laughs> We know. Um, let me tell you something. We know how these people. We know how these people get these awards. Mm, right. Yo, I mean, you mean mainstream, right? How you put? How you put a yo, fucking song on one second and you got a million fucking followers? You know, can I, That's impossible. Please, yes. I'll be. I'll be honest with you. I feel like I'm super new to this. You know, so I'm. I'm, I'm oh, learning please, as, come I, on now. as yeah. as I go. But I feel like with the industry, it was more back in the day. Mm-hmm. It was more. Um, What exactly do I want to say? Like now, nowadays it's easy for you to be your own artist, or it's easier for sure. you to maneuver as an independent artist because you got your Instagram, you got all of these other platforms, oh, you got the internet yeah. to to promote yourself and to put yourself on any and every single platform that you want to. Yeah. Now I feel like with, what was the difference with back in the day? It will be it was more so what you look like, you know. And I'm I don't want to touch too much image. on racism, but I know like I get it a lot. Like listen, I'm Latino. But I tell people, man, I'm as, as black as it comes too. Oh you know, my so god! It is. Nah, it is you just what said, it is. what you gotta do, man. Fuck out. No, it is what it is. Like I, I get stopped by a cop, we both going down. They not gonna be like, oh, you stay out, you stay out. But now, right. what I'm trying to say is that a lot of people with ignorant minds, you know, they're gonna look at me versus uh, if you come in here sagging and 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 and, and you look like the typical hoodlum. What they gotcha. say, you know, it gets a little tough. Now with Puffy and all these other guys, besides talent, you look a lot of you look polished. Amongst the other, right. you know, so I guess that's all the attention went to them. And because there was no other platform, you will sign to whatever Puffy was giving you. You will sign to whatever Jay was giving you because there was no there other was way no other to outlet. make it. There was no you other know? outlet. So now I don't blame nobody for signing up. I don't want to make it sound like if it's like uh, you signed up to what you signed up for, mm-hmm. but I feel like stand on what you stand on. You know, yeah. we all we know how risky the world is overall, especially Ooh. when you got money and a lot of it too. Yeah. You know, so. I, it's it's different timing, so you know I'm super new. I don't know the industry, and I don't know a lot of the, the rumors. I'm I'm going. Ooh, I'm, I'm, send you, I'm, I'm learning send you as y'all. I go. You're gonna see the links. I'm, I'm learning like, as I go, but Ooh. I feel like um a lot of people were was okay with what they signed up for, mm. but then once shit started getting rocky, personally, because now you got to remember your motivation. It don't matter how much millions I'm telling you that I'm about to give you. If you don't have motivation, it's not gonna add up. You know, so I feel like once they started losing that 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 light i guess that's when it starts to get and it's cruel you know i'm not trying to take away from that but i also feel like you know you got to stand on what you stand on Mm. the only thing i could say about it we i mean i don't i didn't hear about it but i could say is like kind of what he said but it goes back to whatever contract whatever deal they came up with so if you agreed back then that's between y'all and now so you agreed to it back then it doesn't work out for you now then that's on that's up to y'all that's what i feel like and, and another thing to add on with, with, with what you just said. Because you I, never know. I feel like mm-hmm. back then also was real hush hush. Like everything yeah. was like hush hush. No, everything's like, coming out now. Like, yeah. Everything. Now now it's like, yeah. you know, with social media, it's like, fuck it. I'm about to, exp- I feel how I feel. And once I say this is out, now you can't do no- nothing to me. But I feel like back in the day was like real hush hush being th- money thrown around and a lot of, you know. Like sign these NDAs, you'll be good. Wink, mm, wink. You know? <laughs> it goes back to your, who's behind you. Back exactly. to your lawyer. Back to you knowing what you're signing knowledge so maybe the knowledge wasn't you know now you have more knowledge of what you're doing right exactly that's so true right you right. got to do your research oh you're right no that's why now we're it's good that we kind of exceed the exposure and everything's coming out because now we're educating ourselves like what not to do not no 360 deals like be careful with those things those even you have an attorney a uh entertainment attorney also yeah. get a backup 
Because right. you know they could they could work for them, but what about your interest, man? So does, does that, that yeah. like does the industry scare y'all? Like as no. a, as independent I'm artists, I'm ready. I just want to make sure legally we're good. <laughs> Right. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Honestly, I haven't like sat down and really thought about this shit. But everybody, I. I don't. Honestly, I'm one of those that I don't care for signing, because my thing is like, I don't know. I just want to give back to my family. So it's like, yeah, give me whatever you are gonna give me. I got it. I'll suffer if I gotta suffer, but give me so I, so they could be good and we could all be be good. But honestly, I don't. I also feel like I don't. I don't know. I don't really I mean, know how, how I feel about all that. Yeah, I just want to, like, like being an artist myself, I just want, my, like, all my friends. And, like, you guys as well, everybody, all artists out here, we're working hard, independently, doing what we're doing. But I want to make sure you guys are also educated and knowing what things to look forward to. Exactly. Because, remember, when they present you a contract, remember, you got to know what the hell you're writing and signing your right. shit away. So you always got to have a backup plan, get in another attorney, uh, entertainment lawyer that you know that have good credentials and have a long history and this this field, and that's going to protect you and your assets. Right. So, just a little game in there for y'all right now tonight. He's okay. like, "Oh shit, he's right." <laughs> How about you, Gemini? Sounds good to me. You, you any any input on this, sir? Look, whatever happened then happens then, and now they could change, and they doing it now. So that's it. Okay, right. that sounds good. All right, so next one, uh, next one, Prince Harry. As you guys know, it's been happening with him and Mark uh, Meghan Markle. Uh, apparently, he was on uh, sixty Minutes recently, and his new book is coming out called Spare. And he talked about, you know, a situation where the royal family, you know, kind of disowned him in that situation with when he got with Meghan Markle and the whole situation with his mom that passed away many years ago. So how do you guys feel about that? You know, he's finally a memoir. He's, he's coming out soon. Yeah. And he's still a part of the He's still a part <laughs> no, of the they, family. No, they disowned him. They pretty much, the royal Trust family. Me, he's they, still a part of the family. As soon as they stop getting mad. They'll yeah, put them back in. So. I don't. Yeah, I ain't gonna talk about them. I, yeah, I, really, they, yeah, I heard what they be doing to people. I ain't, I ain't told the royal yeah. family. We love, yeah, yeah. we love you. Yeah, we love you on this side. We don't know them. Yeah, we, yeah, we love you. Yeah, that's why we want your pounds. It's in love on this side. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know them. Uh, well, and I'm just adding in there. Okay, so quickly, Blue Ivy, big shout out to her. She just turned 11 years old. I think the today or so. Wow, or wow. Shout yeah. out to Blue Ivy. Damn. She's like, she's a millionaire already. Let me get some of that money. She's all right. Also, Ben Affleck and was recently out there in Boston at a Dunkin' Donuts uh, this week or so with Jennifer Lopez was doing a commercial, and he was actually serving coffee to the customers and that, and it was kind of cool, you know. Yeah, that's you guys. Dope. Yeah, that's, that's dope. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. cool. You right, know, what quick last one. This is a throw in there. Uh, this is a guy who was a bodyguard for Puff Daddy years ago. Go, he was he was called and, uh, Ron. You gotta check this on YouTube. It's real. He said that uh, Puff Daddy had paid him thirty k. To to uh, assassinate Biggie, Biggie Small, <laughs> and he never did it because he said it was a guilty conscience. He would not want to do it, and he never ratted him out after twenty years because he has a family, you know, kids. Of course. So this is all coming out. Like I said, these are things that now are getting exposed, and just just keep watching YouTube. There's a lot of information. Maybe some might be not correct, but use your instant insight and be careful. Yeah. It's a lot of craziness. I feel, in the world. I feel like that. Yeah. That's yeah. unfortunately that doesn't surprise me. I know. Because Especially he was leaving. Especially now with 2023. Right. Because you see, like, people killing you for the Tims you got on. Listen. You know I mean? So, like, if you was uh-uh. Biggie, you know, yeah. but, but that's tough. That's crazy. Yeah, because he was leaving out the label and he wanted his publishing deal. He wanted his publishing, his major, uh, what's that one called? Uh, the Masters. Masters. Yeah. So he started seeing that Tupac, same thing, same, with different management, though, but. This is what I'm telling people. Let me just shut the fuck up. Let's get back to the show. All right. Because I can go into the show. I'm like, right, hey, Beto, you trying to throw us in there with you? Fuck <laughs> no, 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 Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm trying to educate y'all, man. <laughs> just be careful out there, man. No, so many motherfuckers like. For real, for real. All right, so we're getting right into the show, guys. I'm going to get right, both of you, both artists. And we're we'll get you last, Gemini, because it's time. All right, All right, so let's get right into it, guys. We're on the Artist Spotlight segment. <laughs> Woo! Yes! I'm loving the love tonight. Woo! Let's get out of here. All right, so we were with artist Tu Morenito and with Shafire. So I'm going to go right to you first, and I'm going to get you after. Yes. Okay, so how are you today? I'm feeling blessed. I'm super blessed. I, I, I love doing exactly this, meeting new artists. There you go. It's the first time I got my mom in, with me in any of my projects. You feel me? So it's up. dope. I feel blessed. That's what's up. Okay, okay. So quickly, uh, who are your... Um, tell, tell the viewers watching now, who is Tu Morenito? So tu morenito, tu morenito, que es tu morenito. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, so I, I guess um, it's it's self-explanatory, and then I'll, I'll I'll really tell you where it came from and shit. Like 
Moreni, so you know, everybody's familiar with the word Moreno. Yes. You know, a lot of people, you know, hear the word Moreno, you think the worst. Nah, back home in, 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 in DR, right. they, it's, you're identified by what they first see. Like you, they're going to call you redhead. You, they're going to call you chunky. My, my mom, they going to call, call, call her. No, like it's just really that. But now it, it, it gets a little crazy because now, like my family nickname is Goldo. Oh, Goldo okay. means fat. Yeah. But that was because when I was a baby, I was real chunky. So now that carried on with me for don't call me Goldo. No, no, but you feel me? <laughs> no, you're good, you're good, brother. But you know, it carries on, it carries on with with, with time. So what Morenito means is a flirtatious way of calling you brown skin without offending you. Oh. That's what Morenito is. Okay, gotcha. Okay. You know, and then I'm a Morenito, you know, you more, more Morenito, she a Morenita. My mom's also a Morenita. Aww. It 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 doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean black. It means like tannish. It means like Indiacito, like um. Like color, it, it means like some type of melanin. Okay. You know, it don't have to be necessarily real dark, dark, dark. It could go from because you're gonna be in a room with somebody where you meet somebody darker than you. Somebody's gonna be lighter than you, and my mom, vice versa. She's gonna be in a room with somebody's real lighter than her, darker than her. And she becomes a morenita, and right. you know it. So that's that. Now, um, as the artist, the morenita, I feel like it just connects. It's it's, it's me. It, it it kills everything. You know, as as a Gemini, they say that we're real indecisive in our heads and yes. how we like we don't know yes. oh he a ticking bomb i sure the fuck am but at the same time <laughs> i feel like it's it's like a, a, a bomb necessarily don't it's not a bad thing like a lot of people have like good you know so that's that's, that's me i feel like i wanted to to pick a name that was real easy to identify me with and i feel like perfect name was morenito okay cool, cool. well tell us all the viewers watching now who are your musical influences and why I got a whole lot. I got a whole lot. Honestly, I I'm I suck with names. Oh, I suck man. with names. <laughs> I'm real bad with names, but I know my top three, you know, I'm gonna say names that um so okay. my my idol is Nene La Menaza. Like, you know, I feel like he he influ he influences me a lot in, in the music just because um I feel like I do um my music is like, let's say, like Maze. Yes. In Spanish, it's like a little pretty boy Spanish shit. Like I'm always, Ooh. I'm singing for the girls and mommy. Like how you feeling? Like the beautiful. Papi Chulo like, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, I got this okay. money. I make this. I'm that. I, I, so on and so forth. So I feel like anybody that falls under that, it's um my people that I look up to. Everybody, you know, I feel like everybody also paved the way for me to to be here. I can't pinpoint anybody, but I feel like me, me myself, I'll tell you is it Nene La Menaza and anybody else, Bad Bunny. No way everybody else come behind, but then I mean, I saw this, this, you know, I like who that. really made me want to, his type of music really made me want to do music. Yeah. I like that. So, so okay. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm talking about. So let's talk about now what you're doing now um, for music wise. So we're going to play in a minute your two songs I got. Before, yes, ma'am. I got you. I got you. I got you. So before that, um, what coming shows you got coming up for this year? So I will be. Yes. Say it, good say morning. It. January 13th. <laughs> I will be in Grill of the Hill. Ooh. Come on, Harlem, get up. We in the building. Tomorrow they need to. We're gonna be representing the Republic of Dominicana, Harlem, and you know ourselves and everybody in in the middle. Um, any other shows? Honestly, I um, due to the fact that I, I am expecting, I wanted to be real responsible about this and like pull back from a lot of my projects. But the main thing that I got going on right now for 2023 is my my EP. I'm gonna drop like like four or five singles, but after those is out and promoted in like music videos and everything. And then I'm gonna lock down and really do my projects and all that. But um, shows and like interviews, I recommend you guys to just follow me on my Instagram. It's I am Morenito, literally spelled just like that. I a m m o r e i o r e n i t o. I'm sorry. You got this. You got this. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I got the most recent is the grill on the hill, and after that, I, I said I, I was gonna chill out for yeah, for a little bit. That's what's up. Okay, okay. That's what I, I, I can't wait for Friday. Y'all gotta come through, man. I can't Pull wait. up, man. This is the tickets are mad cheap, so no, let's just get a drink, hang out, get like tickets. twelve dollars. Yeah, man. Come on, lit, man. Come on. In, the, in New York City, come on. <laughs> Listen, like for any, honestly, yeah. honestly, yeah. for any of the viewers right now watching, if you follow me, hit me up directly. I don't care if you don't have the money. Um, let me know. I also like to like buy two, two or three extra tickets for for any of like the fans. Oh. I don't like using fans and shit. I don't feel like I'm there yet. But gotcha. for anybody that want to come chill with me, spend a day with Morenito, you know, come out, hit me up. I got a ticket for you. I like that. I like that. So before we play two songs, I'm, we're gonna play uh, right now in a bit before we get to that. So 
We're going to play, I hope I said it correctly, 5.25 a.m., right? 5.25, 5.25. Okay, I'm going to fuck this up. All right, so it's with yourself featuring Kazi, right? Kazi, yes, sir. Okay, it's going to fuck this up. <laughs> and the other one's called Bagan... Pagan? Pagando yo. yo. Okay, see, my, I was trying to work the Spanish here. Like, Pagando ooh. yo, I got you. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to play that in a minute. But before that, uh, tell us both about those two songs. So those two songs, uh, so honestly, 525 is real special to me just because that's my date of birth, to, to be oh, honest. It's 525. Okay, that's so, okay. You know, and I feel like um that I don't know if people believe in like angel numbers and shit, but that's the yeah. number that I always catch. I guess it's because it's my birthday. Yeah. But that's like honestly, I could go all day without looking at the clock and like honestly, when I was sitting here before I sat down when you was like, all right, let's start the show. It was 525. Get it was fuck. literally 525 when he was like, come Yo, on. Oh, that's crazy. That's, that's, that's numerology. So it's, 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 it's one of those things for me. And I just felt like I always liked the title like that. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know if for you as, as an artist, um, looking for a title for a song is one of like the hardest yeah, parts very, for me. Yeah, but my You know, so I was yes. like, all right, let's hit these numbers. Cool. Ow. You know, a lot of times <laughs> your iPhone glitches like, like that anyways and switches to the numbers. So you might f- bump into my shit some one way or another, yeah, got to you know? know? And I feel like Pagando <laughs> Yo, Pagando Yo is one of those songs. It's like, basically it's dealing with a heart that you didn't break. And it's Pagando Yo is um like, I'm paying for it. Like uh, I'm paying for that heartbreak. It's a real and it's that shit, literally yeah. exactly that. Like um when you first meet, in, when you first get to meet a, a, a girl, and um you know you get to know her but you know y'all both like the vibe especially the man because i feel like we always get attached to the females before they get attached to us mm. <laughs> you know y'all might not be it as depends, vocal no y'all might not be as vocal yeah. than a guy but you know a guy's gonna be like yo listen this is how i feel about you what's up and y'all be like all right let me see <laughs> let me <laughs> look, down the, look down the roster and shit. we get it we get it it's cool we got wink, it too wink. but fellas <laughs> it's cool it's cool it's cool it's love but you know it's always that phase it's like the very beginning like you like the vibe you like spending time with that person but it's kind of like it's like bittersweet it's too good to be true that's pagando yo i like that okay and you got vi- visuals for that as well i did little freestyles okay shout out to my boy um shot by oa okay you know he did the um the freestyle for nice. um hazard i don't know if y'all hazard lights no. he does like a lot of car um like freestyles and like the cars oh, nice. and he'll drive around in your city or like your block and shit and it was dope like he shot the visual for that and that's what i'm saying that's why like 2023 is gonna be that like my, with my next song like this was my this was like my trial and errors where every song that i got out from pagando yo to 525 is my trial and error that's you know sick. i wanted to see how um people was gonna receive me as an artist done good you know could do yeah, better i don't settle so i'm always saying it could have did better but I, my numbers is good everything is good and you know just keep progressing. Keep working hard. Amen. Both of you guys, you know, to keep doing your thing. So that's what's up. Any shout outs? Shout out to my mom. Oh, Come she's on. like, wait, okay, I'm coming. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my family. Shout out to everybody listening. Shout out, first and foremost, I should have said God before anybody, mm. but shout out to him. And um, I feel like another thing, I, people might take it as cocky, but shout out to me, man. If I didn't get up off the bed and got here, I won't be here. You <laughs> know, so yeah. shout out to me. Okay, and social media. Um, my social media is on my Instagram. My Facebook is Royce Rico, R O Y S Rico, R I C O. My Instagram is I am Morenito, I A M M O R E N I T O. Um, uh, my YouTube, you search me under Tu Morenito Kang Kang, and I'll come up on um, Spotify, Apple Music, Tu Morenito. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. That's about it. I don't really. I'm not sorry. really on Twitch or any other. Like, Listen, things, me. I'm but, <laughs> once in a blue moon. <laughs> you know. Okay, that's what's up. All right, let's give it up, guys. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out. Yes, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna play two songs. That's we, man. We're right. No, and we know we're coming back to this beautiful, lovely artist in front of me. Oof. Mm-hmm. I love the red, right? By the way. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. Shot fire. So we'll be right back, guys. You're watching the Real G Spotlight Radio Show here at DTF Radio. We're gonna play right now the two songs by artists. Tu Morenito, I hope I get it correctly again. 525. 525 a.m. 5.25. He said it better than me. All right, featuring Casa. <laughs> and also, Pagando. Pagando yo. He said it better. Okay. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck this shit up. All right, so we'll be right, we'll be right back. Uh. Thank you. 
Gang, gang. Tú supiste, mami. Tú morenito. Mami, me gustó. Dale la habitación. No me venga con la cosa. Ponte más bonita. Mami, me gustó el corito contigo. ¿Cuál es la ubicación para pasarte a buscar? No me venga con la excusa de que, que no puede, mami, ponte me bonita y ya. Ahora que estamos aquí, mami, que baila conmigo. Yo soy tu morenito y tú eres mi bebé. Si nada más supiera los sentimientos que por ella yo siento, ya dejará de ser. Las tan cabeza dura, de esas ocasiones. Y yo sé que le gustó y por eso que ella trata de esconder sus emociones. Ella tiene sus razones, de eso no la culpo. Yo sé que la acostumbraron que les rompa el corazón. Corazón, corazón. En miles de pedacitos Por ello lo estoy pagando yo Y entiendo que no eres un juguetico Dime tu fantasía para hacerla esta noche Vamos solo normal o nos ponemos a beber Una etiqueta azul o un genesis blanco Pídeme lo que tú quieras, baby Y ahora que estamos aquí, mami, caliéntate conmigo Yo soy tu morenito y tengo leche para beber Mami, yo te lo prometo que no soy como ellos Yo tengo lo mío para resolver y Tengo los contactos, tengo el efectivo Y aunque tú no me creas ahora, mami chula Yo quiero algo contigo Ahora déjame enseñar Yo te trato bien No te hablo de dinero, te estoy hablando de amor De amor, de amor, de amor, de amor. Yo no soy como todito Yo lo estoy pagando yo Mami, me gustó el corito contigo. ¿Cuál es la ubicación para pasarte a buscar? No me venga con la excusa de que, que no puede. Mami, ponte me bonita y ya. Ahora que estamos aquí, mami, baila conmigo. Yo soy tu morenito y tú eres mi bebé. Si nada más supiera los sentimientos que por ella yo siento, ya dejará de Son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti Estoy pensando en las cosas que te hace reír Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes, no te vas a mentir No te vas a mentir, baby eh, son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti Estoy pensando en las cosas que te hace reír Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes, no te va a mentir No te va a mentir, baby Son las 5.25, estoy aquí pensando Y estos pensamientos no me dejan superarme de ti Esta vaina no te miento, no me deja vivir Tampoco puedo dormir, baby, no. Y no le pare que el príncipe es tuyo soy yo. Vamos a repetir lo que entre nosotros pasó. No hay que decirle a nadie, entonces queda entre tú y yo. Pero el problema que tenemos es que tu corazón está rompido, pero la curita soy yo. Está dolido y no fui yo quien lo rompió. Lo hago mío y le doy todo mi calor. Que necesita, que necesito yo. Yo te sorprendo con mi talento de conocerte por afuera y por adentro. Me dice que no te va en el el asiento, dime lo que tú quieras, pero tu cuerpo a mí me dice cuando estamos bien o cuando estamos mal. O oh, mami, cuando tú me dices que te va a mojar, mami, contigo yo quiero llegar hasta el final, pero no te me vire que yo quiero conquistar. Es una de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti, estoy pensando en las cosas que te hace reír. Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes, no te va a mentir, no te va a mentir, baby. Eh. Es son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti, estoy pensando en la 
las cosas que te hace reír. Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes, no te va a mentir, no te va a mentir, baby. Ya son las cinco de la mañana, de ti yo tengo ganas. Mi corazón, mami, no me deja mentir. Va pensando en ti, lo que te hace venir, no me hace reír, baby. Son las 5.25, mi corazón no me deja olvidarte y por eso tengo ganas de ti. Te ponerte posiciones y ahí tener razones. Singamos emociones, baby, at the beach. De como va bajo el sol, no quitarte ese calor. Abajo el agua es mejor, nos grabamos hito. A mi paso de sirena, muevo lo que tiene arena y lo que me tiene despierto. Es que la mamita más buena. Es son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti. Estoy pensando en las cosas que te hace reír. Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes. No te va a mentir, no te va a mentir, baby. Eh. Son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti. Estoy pensando en las cosas que te hace reír. Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes, no te va a mentir. No te va a mentir, baby. Son las 5 de la mañana y yo sé que estoy pensando. Pensando en las cosas que vi, baby, no me ha dado. Pensando en los besos y los abrazos que me ha dado. No ando con la gente porque siempre mueven raro. No hablo con la gente, nunca hablo con los sapos. Si quieren, mueven heavy, ya yo muevo como capo. Ya yo muevo como capo, no capean como capo. Y siempre cuando mira tengo el shorty bajo el brazo. Oh, una mujer profesional, una demonia que se mueve mover muy sensual. Y cuando lo baja tú sabes una demonia, una demonia baja para el piso. Muévelo baby baby, yeah you know I need you. My heart is broken inside, yes I need a redo. Tell me that you love me baby, I do not believe. Ocasiones de bachata y reggaeton Son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti Estoy pensando en la cosa que te hace reír Baby, mi corazón, tú sabes, no te va a mentir No te va a mentir, baby, yeah Son las 5 de la mañana, estoy pensando en ti Estoy pensando en la cosa que te hace reír Mi corazón, baby, tú sabes, no te va a mentir No te va a mentir, baby, yeah Subiste, corazón yo sé que te gustó este tema, mami. Mi corazón. Por ahí viene más. No te chule mucho de él. Tu morenito. Casi. Con tu morenito. Otra nueva para ustedes. No se chule de esa tampoco. El chulo ese de mi mamá. All right, guys, welcome back to the Real G Spotlight Radio Show here live at DTF Radio. I said live. All right. Yes, you already know, baby. This okay. got, that last song got me like kind of a little turned on. I'm looking to lie. You know, uh, <laughs> no. right? Yeah, it's it's I nice. I feel like I, you it's know, nice. it's, 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 I think he's going, I'm I proud of that project. right there. I think he's going. Wait, but he got his brothers right here. He's not going to be disrespectful. I'm proud of, like, I, I, you know, you, you're not really supposed to say, it's like it's like kids. Like you can't really have like your favorite project, but that's my right. favorite song. I feel like that was the um, out of all of my songs, I have produced that with Kazi. So Kazi's a producer, and Kazi's like is a drill rapper. He oh. wants us to, to cross over to the Latin market. Okay. So I was like, let's jump on. I, I don't care. You don't need to have a project to work with me. I mean, a resume to work with me. I'm like, I need music. Let's work. Yeah. You know. So he was like, yeah, come on, let's jump on. And then he let me have produce that. So I feel like for me, that's one of my my biggest projects. Outright it. currently. No, both were but, good. But know. this one was like more like like ladies, Real, get your panties down. Yeah. And, we, we, and, like I said to mom, and you know, here. like <laughs> a lot of the people that I have around me, a lot of people that I have around me kind of really didn't want me to go that route. Oh. You know, cause I cause I so as an artist, I hear myself doing more like dembo, like more party sounds, exactly. like more Wait, club you know. bangers, you know, and like this is something that's out of my league. This was more like mellow, more chill. Yeah, but you can mix you it know, up a little I'm, bit. Like, you know. I did it. Did it for the ladies and then do it for the fellas so I that they, they don't feel left out. You know? uh -huh, <laughs> say, I'm super happy yeah. with that song. Like, I'm that's my favorite. That's my favorite one. Well, and if that's your favorite and that's out of your comfort zone, that, you might want to. You know, you see? Like, sometimes yeah, coming was, out of your comfort zone. That was exactly. my thing, right? That there. might be your that rank. One, that might, right. yeah. Exactly. Let's give it up again, man. Come, Come on, on now. Come on, thank you for the opportunity, for real. You're very welcome. And for the platform. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Now, stay put. Now, are you guys ready? Come on, of course. Let's give love right now. Let's give the ultimate love right now for our beautiful sister right now. Come on. Yes! Now, I'll get some loud drumming. Thank you, somebody. <laughs> Shit. Shout for real. I 
Hello. Oh. Fire in the building. Shut up. Oh, 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 what the fire in the building? Oh. <laughs> you got me out of here. I know, but hold on. You see, this is what the co-host does to me sometimes. They go, oh, yeah, because we, we, we got to sell. We got to pay bills. Okay. So we got you, mommy. No problem. We got you. This I'll pause a, my video. Okay. All right. Do, do, is it be a quick one? I guess what it is. We'll start now. <laughs> All right. It's Instagram, right? Pharaoh G, uh, Esperanza the Movement, Loud Mouth, that's right, in the building, February 18th, we in Brooklyn, New York City, for that Who's Next NYC concert, but artists who can win $500 in cash. Mm. That's right, it's going to be at the Brooklyn Music Kitchen, 177 Vanderbilt Avenue, you don't want to miss it, tickets are on sale now in Eventbrite. So make sure you tap in. It's a movement. February 18th. You heard? Yeah. <laughs> Telling me that you still want me My anxiety's taking over It makes me feel so lonely Every day my demons haunt me There's nothing on my brain All right, now that's back to the show All right, oh, guys oh. No, no, no uh, I gotta do No, my senor I will take your mic off <laughs> Listen, man Are you finished, sir? No this DJ Loud Mouth here, Spotlight Radio Show. Me, it's going down Thursday night, January 19th, Brooklyn Music Kitchen. Who's next? NYC. That's right. Who's next? NYC. Who's next? NYC. Thursday, January 19th. All right. Oh Brooklyn Music Kitchen. All right. I need some coffee. Kill me some all right. Coffee. If I have somebody Kill out here, give me some fucking coffee. All right. Who's next? NYC. You just heard. Handsome shooter, he's gonna be in the building. All right, Don, uh, Don Julio and friends, it's going down. Get your tickets now, Eventbrite. You heard? Who's next? NYC concert live at Brooklyn Music Kitchen next Thursday, January nineteenth. Uh, doors open nine p.m. All right, get your tickets now. DJ Loudmouth certified. All right, Mr. now back Loudmouth. to the show. Thank you. Wow, look how let's give applause for our <laughs> co-host trying oh. man to put the ads in here. <laughs> No, no, no. There we go. That's how we do it. All right, guys. So back. Let's give it up for our beautiful sister in the building. Shot fire. Shot fire. baby. Shout out to everybody. Thank you so much. I'm honored to have you here. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Big shout out to Madge over there. Like, yeah, shout out to the man. Shout out to my team. Yeah. Shout out to Blacks. Oh. Shout out to Mr. Manager. Yeah. <laughs> So let's get right into it. Uh, tell the viewers and the listeners watching now, who is Shaw Fire? Shaw Fire is what the earth is, the fire that the earth is missing. Mm, that's what Shaw Fire is. I like that. Right. Oh, okay, that's what's where my answer All right, baby. Ooh, I feel, the, I feel the energy. The energy. Yes, definitely. So let's get more into it. Who are your, your role models, your musical influence and all that? Well, I definitely love, I love Cardi B. Yes. I love her drive. I love her personality. I love... So I love her music. I love the Migos, and I love Fabulous. Ooh, I hear, I hear it there. Yeah, I hear it. Okay, okay. Those are my three go-to artists, and I love Chris Brown. Love his music. I can oh, listen to them nice. all day. He he loves him. <laughs> He's a big fan of so. Shout out to them. That's what's up. Okay, so like, like I want to get right into your music. So I check some of your stuff out, your music and everything, and I love about you. You're a rapper, and what I love about you, you put God into your music. Yes. So let's talk more about that. Like, how did that inspire you? What, <laughs> let's get right into. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, God is above all. Um, shout out to God for even having us here. Yeah. Um, my music was is a journey. So um, I have a first set of music. The music I'm creating now is just to me more powerful than the music I had before because God is definitely in play. Um, when you put God first, everything changes. So the more that I do put God, the more my music is changing. Music's supposed to come from your heart. And I'm learning, I learned that as an artist. So some music I made didn't come from my heart. I made it because if you have the talent, you're gonna make it. But when it comes from your heart, people will feel it more. Yeah. And people can relate to it. This, this, come on. <laughs> this is a toilet, my baby. Yes, yes. 
so um I saw there was a video I saw you were at, I think it was called God's uh it was a God's child. It's um it's called so my, my name on my name is God's child of God, but okay. um the the name of the song is Fade Away. Yes, the one, yes. So you Fade was away. like out and then you was talking. And I I love that because it's like we see rappers all the time talking about the usual stuff, right? But what I like about your music as well is like you combine, you know, you know, being a female rapper in the game now and also combining Jesus in there yes. because we need more of that. We need that. Yes. To be inspired and to uplift people. Yes. Definitely. I mean, is there anything in the future? I don't know why I'm seeing this, but like a ministry. Do I see something? No, you do. I, um, you're okay. giving me chills. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, 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 I'm just, I don't want to say too much. But No, no. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm very spiritual yeah. and um, I, that's definitely going to be... That's something that's missing, that's coming out. I've talked to people, but oh. people need, I'm gonna be talking, I'm gonna be going live. Oh my God. So um, the lives will begin before the end of this month and it will continue. Um, Listen, let's give it up for that, man. The stuff of the new year, right? That's what yes. I'm saying. Wow, God bless you, man. God bless you too, God bless everyone. Thank you, man. Um, but yeah, with God, you will not fail. I see. I think so. Now I, I know you have a story behind this. So I don't yes, know why I'm I, I see. Mind you, I'm picking this shit up. God knows why we're here yes, for a reason. Yes, we are. Got to sorry. Right. Now, if you don't mind, out of respect, your story. How did you? Well, um, so I, my mom, I grew up knowing about God. I went in a church, but you could grow up and know about something, but you got to get to know yourself. You got to mm -hmm. get to learn yourself. Um, so as I grew and I'm growing, I definitely got more closer with God. Long story short, I'm just going to use last year. God definitely wanted my attention. And if he wants your attention, he will okay. show you. Amen. But you have to be willing to listen. He shows a lot of people and sometimes you miss it. But if he wants your attention, he's going to, he got to get your attention. So he definitely got my attention. I, do, I lost a few things. Definitely lost my job. I lost my car. Had a few problems with family, but everything I lost became a big game. So what he does is he definitely will strip you of everything to make you new. Mm. And um, so my journey now, where I'm at right now, he showed me what he needs from, what he showed me my direction and your purpose. You have to know your purpose. Yes. If you don't know your purpose, you will be lost. Yes. In order to learn your purpose, you gotta, you gotta get to God. How to get to God, you gotta talk to him. I was praying to him every day until he started to answer me. And, and trust me, change is required if you wanna elevate. <laughs> We're scared of change, but how are you going to elevate if you don't want to change? Mm. In order to change, you got to see what you're doing wrong. Sometimes we don't want to see our wrongs. There's someone to show you. That's God. He will change you. So um, it's not where you're coming from, it's where you're going. And um, so right now, my journey, everything is changing. My direction as an artist, I want to not just make music. I want to inspire people. Amen. It's not yes. about just making music. Music is one of the most powerful things in the world. So in order to inspire people, they got to hear your message. They hear your message through your music. And when you make music from your heart, people are hearing you. They're hearing it coming from your heart. And there's nothing more genuine than that. So um, where I'm going with my music now is to, do it, to inspire people and to show people really what it's about, what life is really about. You know what I'm saying? Um, the gen that's what I'm talking about. It goes back to, like I said, changing the generations. <laughs> music, that's what will change them. Listen, I, I, I'm sorry. I gotta. I'm telling you, you know, when you feel the energy and you just, you gotta say things because messages come to for a reason. So I, I, pre I appreciate you so much, you know. And this is our first time meeting you. Yes, so it is. This is crazy. Like, it's always things. <laughs> energy, are energy. Yes, you ain't know. <laughs> energy. You ain't know. So let's get right into the music. So, uh, like I said, I was checking some of your stuff out. And then um, I saw you have a song, which uh, I'm gonna see if we have it because I, I think it's MP3 though. But I'm gonna see okay. if, I think it's on YouTube. Yes, it's on all of them is on YouTube. Also, perfect. So why do I have the other song? Um, it's called Fade Away, and it was called Ice Digger. Ice Digger, like okay. gold digger, ice digger. Ooh, let's Ooh. talk about it. Come on. Okay. Yeah, sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so Ice Digger, shout out to Ice Digger. That's my baby. Um, I definitely put a lot of work into that song. That was one of the most to me, the first hardest rap song I made. I have another, but we'll get into another time. But um, Ice Digger, I put a lot into. I wanted to really, really show people like I can, you know what I'm saying? Like to show them a different vibe, drill type, but also as a female hustler. Mm. So um, Ice Digger, I put a lot of work into, but that's why I chose Ice Digger and Fade Away for you because they're two different type of music, but they're very powerful in two different ways. Okay. Ice Digger is complete, straight up, real rap real drill gangster rap fade away is completely spiritual inspirational and powerful i love that, that 
Oof. Wow, I, I can't wait. I'm very excited. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. Okay, and the, the videos, I believe. So uh, I definitely did drop Ice Digger video last month for Christmas, okay. and I dropped Fade Away this month. It dropped sudden, but it was timing. Oh. Fade Away was actually dropped last week. Okay, so recent, that's a, recently. Recently, oh. yes, it's recent. Okay. It's definitely out on it, all platforms. Oh, you see, she read my mind. I was just. A, she it's got on me. YouTube. <laughs> it's on iTunes, Spotify, every platform. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, so before we play that, we're gonna talk about play in a minute. I'm gonna try to get the other one, but if I can't okay. YouTube on that. Um, tell us what upcoming projects you got, what showcases, all that. So, um, I do have upcoming projects where I will be dropping another video. Mm -hmm. Um, I have my Relentless coming out. Mm -hmm. The the album is actually Relentless. So, Relentless is is powerful. Um, I have a big show. I have a big showcase in March, March 23rd. I will have other stuff coming up also, awesome. but that's gonna be a big show also with 105.1. Um, wow. so yeah, I have more, it's going to be coming. They're going to be coming back to back. So on my page, there'll be definitely videos coming back to back. Oh, I'm excited. Visuals. I want to bring visuals. Wow. I don't, no time to just have a song. You want people to see the message, a message. Because yes. they gravitate more They to gravitate. That. Yeah. And then that's why they go to your song. They yes. play this or like, you know, like, oh, Spotify. Like, yes. That's when they start streaming. And people got to see. Yeah. They got to see. So they can I really more understand. Definitely. I love that. I love that. Oh, man. Oh, okay. So, oh, and we're going to play in a few minutes. I'm real excited. Right now. Like, <laughs> if, if possible, try to get Ice Digger first. I want to yeah, show the big yeah, difference. Yeah. I would love Fade Away to end. Fade Away? Okay, yes, gotcha. please. Right. I'm going to see if I could do that for you. All right. But Ice is on YouTube. YouTube? All right, gotcha. So, well, we keep talking to you. All right. So, besides that, um, any any shout outs? Any shout outs? To I want to shout out God. I have to. A shout out to God for showing me my purpose. Shout out to God for keeping everyone. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to God, shout out to my family, and I have to shout out to my manager. Shout out to Black, shout out to my team. Without them, wouldn't be here right now. Amen. Without God right. and my team. Shout out to my family. Yes. But my team is, is they mean a lot to me. Oh, you guys are gonna cry over that. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they mean a lot to me. <laughs> Shafaya and her team is very important. What's up? Uh, the support I, I get. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Oh, How long you got doing music? I've been doing. All right. So I made my first song three years ago, playing around. But um, wow. I could say I made Ice Digger two years ago. Mm -hmm. I made Fade Away a year ago. Oh, that's not bad. So um, bad and I'm and the songs now is coming out. They're just being made. Nah, like right, it's literally right. your it's purpose. Bad. When you are when you have something in you, it's gonna come out. And if it was meant to be, it's gonna be. Amen. Nobody to can't sister. stop that. Amen to that sister. When you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for your purpose. That that I always say that. That's why I say sometimes things come for a reason. Yes. And for the season, all that, you know. Yes. And everything else. Uh, social media, what they can find. Okay, so yes, my social media, Shafaya. If you type in Shafaya, it comes up all over the board. Um, but my Instagram is the real Shafaya, the real Shafaya. YouTube is Shafaya. In Facebook, Shafaya, Shafaya with a whole boy. Shafaya. <laughs> okay, that yes. all over. Shafaya. Hey, that'll work. <laughs> If you type in Shafaya, it comes Shit. up on every um yeah, every, every platform. I, I, I just started following you, I think, um yesterday or today. I okay, I'll just, check it out. Okay, so I'll right, check so it out. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll definitely have to check out check out your page too. Please, listen, support. support. Yes, yeah, support. Why not? It's free. Shit, I yeah, it can't I block for you. It can't block none for neither one of us was coming for either, either one of us. Yeah, to sorry, me how yeah, listen, that is so true. Support <laughs> is so it's, it's free. Yeah, and I tell people that all the time, and they don't understand that. They don't they because don't. the thing about it, you got to be selfless. If you're all about yourself, you're not getting anywhere. Exactly. That's the number one key. You have to be so. You have to be willing to see somebody else win. Ooh, What's for you gonna be shit. for you. But really, but really, I love this. but yeah. really, allow to the person to embrace. Because a lot of people could sit in the room with you, like let's say you getting glorified, and they will try to take that from you one way or another. They could try, you know? but nobody can't take it away. They can try, but the more Facts. them trying is gonna give you more attention because they're gonna see the, the goodness in you. Right. Nobody right. cannot take away who you are. That is so true. And and we all have all testimonies, what we all gone through, what we, you know, situations. Yes. And I always say it, you know, that old saying goes, one okay makes you stronger. Exactly. And a strong leader. Exactly. You know? And good is when it's good, it's gonna trust me, it's gonna uplift. Good oh. is good. Negative is gonna just take away. Oh, you already know. Yeah. That's so yeah. I don't worry, you can't worry about negative. You gotta worry about the positive. See, I'm sorry, we get exclusives on the show, but yeah. we don't know about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't pay attention. People would you're gonna always gonna be people that's gonna try. Right but now. God, you can't block what God has for you. No. Amen. Amen. They just make you stronger. Listen, let's give applause for our sister right now, man. I feel like I'm in church. 
I'm loving oh. this shit, man. I'm, I'm really am. And I'm like, I, I need to get out the house anyway, so it's yeah. a blessing. Yeah, y'all don't even Yeah, know. me too. Shout shit. out to y'all too. Shout yeah. out to y'all for being here. I don't know, not a problem. Okay, so we're gonna play Ice Digger. Please. Got <laughs> you. Okay, so give us a further ado, guys. We'll be right back. We're on the Real G Spotlight Radio Show here on DTF Radio, and we'll be right back. We're gonna play the both songs right now about artists. Yes, I'm excited to say Shot Fire. Woo! Let's get it. Uh, yes, I'm Digger. Oh. Let me sure I get it correctly. Okay, and Fade Away. And after that, we're going to give it, we're gonna close the show with you, Gemini Stacks. Yes. So stay tuned. We'll be right uh, back. Yes. Okay.
All of your pain is gonna fade away. All of your hurt is gonna fade away. All of your tears is gonna fade away. Your broken heart is gonna fade away. Ha, huh, God made a better day. Yeah. I thank the Lord for these better days. I remember times I couldn't pray. Yeah. I know this hurt wasn't here to stay. Ha, huh, it's gonna fade away. Tears gonna fade away. I remember all the pain, yeah, and all my struggles. I stayed in my own lane, yeah, my own bubble. Times I'm on my knees, Lord, I couldn't breathe. You put me on my feet with faith I couldn't leave. Tell you they love you, then turn around, give you funny moves. I'm a queen, I don't do what these dummies do. Broken promises turn you into a humble fool. But to have more life, yeah, that's the greatest tool. But Lord, I just want to say that I love you. I put nothing above you, you my king to my throne. You the right to my wrong, that's why I'm writing this song. Times I was alone, you gave me strength to move on. All of your pain is gonna fade away. All of your hurt is gonna fade away. All of your tears is gonna fade away. Your broken heart is gonna fade away. Ha, huh, God made a better day. Yeah. I thank the Lord for these better days. I remember times I couldn't pray. Yeah. I know this hurt wasn't here to stay. All of your pain is gonna fade away. All of your hurt is gonna fade away. All of your tears is gonna fade away. Your broken heart is gonna fade away. Ha, huh, God made a better day. Yeah. I thank the Lord for these better days. I remember times I couldn't pray. Yeah. I know this hurt wasn't here to stay. I could never break, nah, I could never shake. To escape from the pain, yeah, I meditate. Create visions of me in a better place. I thank you, Lord, for your better day. Huh. It's gonna fade away. Tears gonna fade away. Huh. It's gonna fade away. Tears gonna fade away. It's gonna fade away. I'm getting stronger now, my money longer now, yeah, I'm blessed without a doubt, I had a little drought, got your name, I'm calling out, so the blessings came, I felt the love pouring down, it's gonna fade away, tears gonna fade away, ha, it's gonna fade away, tears gonna fade away. I said one more time. I said one was definitely straight up for the streets, like gangster, uh -huh. and the other one is just straight up inspirational and powerful. I love that. It's just a total different look. Total to different, it. yes. That and it just shows the growth too. Yes. Because I came from Ice Digger, then I went to Fade Away. Wow. And I heard the pain. I heard it. Yes. That. So the difference too with the two differences, one was made from, was created from my heart. Mm -hmm. One was just created to just go to just give them, give the streets something. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, let's give it up, man. Let's give it up for Shot Fire. Woo! Boop, 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 boop. I wish I had the song. You know, something like that. I, I, can, I do, can I do one shout out, bro? Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Uh, so I want to shout out this yeah. person that been watching my live the whole time since we oh, got man. here. Well, First out. and foremost, shout out to Sapphire. Make yes. sure y'all go follow her. What's your IG again? The Real Shot Fire. The, the Real S H A Fire. The Real Shot Fire. I'll tag her a little later when I post y'all up. But shout out to Tanya. You feel me? She's super dope. She's been supporting Aww. me for when I was doing comedy skits and all that. And now I'm doing music. And now she's on my live watching this whole interview That's go down. So, so shout people out. like you, I get out the moon. Can't forget the people that definitely there and support you. Exactly. Right. Right. Those are the most important. Everybody's important, but the people that's there when nobody else wasn't. Right. That's what really counts. Yeah. And you know, yeah. and you know, honestly, what I what I really value, she's one of those people that was a fan, faded away, and then came back. Oh, wow. You know, so that tells like she could say whatever. She could be like, nah, bro, 
she faded away and then came but back. Came, so that she, that only tells me as well that I'm on the right step and on the right path, you know. So fade dope. away. Yeah, fade away. Right. Right. No pun intended. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. worried. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 <laughs> So we're waiting for the man of the hour. Let's, let's give a big applause for my brother right here. Come from on. another mother. Gemini Stacks. Woo! How you doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I'm doing good. How you doing, brother? I'm okay. I'm good. <laughs> so listen, let's get right into it. I'm so good. he's already left with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's get into it. So you finally got your interview, right? You yeah, I know. I, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm all good. Right, all right. All right. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So tell the viewers, we know more about who you are. For those who don't know, who are, is Gemini Stacks? Uh, I was born in uh, Manhattan, mm -hmm. New York, uh, New York City. I'm not gonna tell y'all where. <laughs> Just New York City. That's yeah. New York you City. You might not want to. <laughs> um, don't stalk me. <laughs> uh, went to school around here, right around around where I live at. Um, you know that's pretty much it. And, so um, what do you do? Like I uh, do food. Okay, you're a uh, chef, you chef it up? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm licensed uh, and all that stuff. So you have so, a passion for food? Yes. So okay. I do all types of food and all that stuff with um with everything. <laughs> so you cater? Do you do catering too? Yes. Okay, what is, do you have a catering company or you just do your uh, solo? No, I just do my own thing. Solo. You know, so I do my own thing. I'm still waiting for somebody to uh, join in, but whatever. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, man, I just... Um, <laughs> You know, I got all uh, my cutting boards out and, and yes. menus and all that stuff and everything. And I also do uh, film work and all that stuff. So, oh, you do film work like production? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, film work, uh, documentaries and talk about yeah, talk and, about what you do. Okay. Yeah, I do uh, documentaries and stuff. Actually, we did a documentary uh, yes. for Father's Day. Okay, so cool. Last year, last year, last year, um, twenty two, so and it was my birthday month, Aww. and I've been on. Um, <laughs> But we're her, gonna, her all right, you get, you, you're going too fast. Wait, one thing at a time. All <laughs> okay. right, so, so like, yeah, like, <laughs> um, so you have a passion for food. Yes. You make your own, you say you didn't have a catering company yet, but hopefully you have a catering company. Yes. Because that's, you know, that's what's so. up. I you will, so. if you if you put your mind to it, you will. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I try to invest in the stuff that I like, and, um, you know, my team is good, so, you know, we Aww, went to that. But let's just get let's get to the nitty gritty, okay? okay. <laughs> so let's go first in the cooking. So what was the passion you were who started it? Your your manifestation on that? Um, my, my my mother actually uh, started it actually when I was a kid. You know, you you're in the kitchen watching your mother um cooking all that, and you can't touch them, but she give you stuff, and then you know it worked. My mother cooked every day, whether whether it was leftovers or not. Mm -hmm. She always made something brand new. So okay. and it worked out for me because. Um, obviously I turned into a chef and thank God, because if not, then, you know, man, I feel like that's one of the biggest, not, to, so, not to cut you off, I feel like that's one of the biggest gifts to have yeah, as a man, real. bro. Like, you you, yeah, you can cook for yourself, you, you valid. Yeah. Yeah. You being able to cook. smash that with cleaning and, and, and the hustle, bro. <laughs> you know, man. Straight. She ain't that. For real. Thanks, for real. Yeah. Actually, I cook for her too. Yeah, so, I, I could vouch. So I, I, I you can see I'm a little bit. So it is a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> all my stuff is on um all my stuff is on my um my Instagram page. Um uh Gemini Stacks, and then there's the food one, and then there's the multimedia one. So what is the food one? The food one is our uh, Gemini Stacks. Oh, that's what, oh, so you named yeah. Gemini Stacks. Okay, yeah. cool. So it's both. Okay. And, and your cooking show, Gemini Stacks Cooking. Gem, uh Gemini Stacks, uh Cooking is on YouTube. So you too. have a cooking show? Yes. Were you like live cooking or just videos? Of uh, no, it's videos. I okay. got I got about six videos that's already out. I got like probably like that's 15, what's up though. Twenty videos. Cooking is that's is not is food. Yet, people love so. food. Yeah. Especially on TikTok too, it goes crazy. Right. Ooh, cooking videos. Yo, we should we should work on a little. She song. does my editing. She does my editing too. So oh, stop. and it's all it's all. Um, you, she was <laughs> on food, so. No, because sometimes you got to get your credit too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You know, you got to get your credit too. So, <laughs> too no, definitely. But uh, real quick, because the, the next show is on here ready. So quickly, um, your daughter's love. You want to talk more about that quickly? Yeah, we did a um, um we, yeah. we did a um documentary about um her, her father um yeah. dying or whatever, and um she told me about it, and um I was ready, and she was ready, and that was it. And uh, you have more projects to be working on. So far. uh, yeah, I'll be at the uh the the events on um. The 18th, uh, the 13th, and um, you know, definitely, definitely, I'll be there. So, 
you know. He does music videos as well. He music does. videos and stuff. I oh, so co- you produ- co- you co- co-directed uh, 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 two of her videos with uh, Jam Pie Media, which is uh, Loudmouth Far- right there. Far- which is nominated. And, um, what's the other one? Far Away. And um, it did a lot. On the other dance side. floor. Anyway, so you do the dance okay. floor. So yeah, yeah, definitely. So I do it all, man. So if it's there, it's there. If you and got that cash. If you got that cash, I got the stuff for you. That's a fact. And also, you uh, you were on a couple of the issues of the magazine. Well. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was. I've been on. Um, actually, I'm on the cover June, June, June um yeah. 22. I'm on the um I'm on the inside of the um the magazine with our Cuban Link. And um, I think I'm on October of um, last year. So if you look her up, the magazine is with Cuban Link. I'm on the inside. I'm on the cover of June 22. You can check um, all of them shit. Hell yeah, I gotta make sure, girl. Look, 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 I make sure that I buy every, I make sure I buy every cover. Cause I wanna make sure I'm in every magazine, (laughs) every every magazine. Nah, listen. So when they open it up, they see who I am. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, so we gotta wrap it up, but quickly, your social media. We'll have you back on to a full, so don't worry about it. Uh, uh definitely. My my uh, social media is uh, Gemini Stacks. Right. Uh, that's on Instagram and Facebook, and then I got uh, the multimedia one. That's uh, Gemini Stacks Multimedia. That's a uh, that's capital G M I N I S T X not double S not triple S M U L T I M E D I A. That's multimedia. Slow down a little. Slow down a little bit. That's um that's Gemini Stacks Multimedia. So all you gotta do is just put Gemini Stacks, and both of them show up. On okay. Instagram. Also, we'll have you back on next week. You know why? We'll talk more about it. Okay. You'll be back on for part two. And okay. also, guys, you're more than welcome, you guys as well. Cool. Next week, we're officially announcing we'll be making our three, third year anniversary on the show here on DTV. Yes. Okay, cool. Yay, so, yay. If you guys want to come Blessings. support, we'll get some fuzzy, fuzzy, and some cake and shit. No, listen, yeah. but that's what I was just about to tell you. you yeah. I bartend outside of music and all that shit. Actually, I was a co host of, 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 of um, this show when it first started, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I got a, I got a few credits, but you know, sometimes you gotta keep you them come off. Next of, week, we'll talk sometimes more. you gotta keep them off of Facebook. Lord, I guess. You gotta, <laughs> now, next time I come up, I'll, I'll bring y'all some some. Of my, I got a cocktail. Oh shit! In, in my job, I ain't gonna promote that because they ain't That's pay for that. Sh- well, <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 bring no, no, bring no, no, next. Y'all gotta pay for that. Bring it okay? next on Wednesday. Yeah, because... All right, but I'll bring y'all. I'll bring y'all some of my cocktail. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. I want to thank each and every one of you guys coming to the show. Thank you for having me. Yes, you're Thanks for having me. Guys, welcome. Let's give it up for artists. Do Moronito. I got it right. <laughs> Shout fire. I got it right. And Gemini Stacks. I'm the artist. Please, so cook them all that shit. Yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next week on the third year anniversary of the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show at DTF Radio. That's right. Yeah. DJ Loudmouth, yes. uh, Vero G, Gemini Stacks, and company. And shout out to all the amazing artists that we had today. And uh, you'll be listening to us. Put the iTunes back up, please. Thank you. All right, so uh, we're gonna get out of here because the other show's here, so guys. But again, we will close out. Yep. Uh, the lamb off close it out. We and um, all right, Bye, we'll guys. we'll be having a, a major announcement in the next week or two, so stay That's tuned fair. for that. Um, yeah, we're just yeah. gonna be uh, expanding what we're doing here, and uh, I'm okay. stay tuned for that. Uh, we're about to change the game. Let it, let again. We're about to change the game, as you know it. All right, we out. Uh, check you guys out later. Uh, Spotlight Radio Show, DTF Radio, of course, uh, with DJ Loudmouth, uh, <clears throat> Vero G, Gemini Stacks, and shout out to the artists. Yeah. 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 Listen, JoJo be there, DJ Drewski, Vero G, uh, Esperanza the Movement, Loud Mouth. That's right. In the building, February 18th, we're in Brooklyn, New York City for that Who's Next NYC concert. But artists, you can win $500 in cash. Mm. That's right. It's going to be at the Brooklyn Music Kitchen, 177 Vanderbilt Avenue. You don't want to miss the tickets on sale now in November. Right? So make sure you tap in. It's a movement. February 18th. Yeah. Telling me that you still want me. 